Okay, you're on the corner of Rockwell and Ontario on Public Square, downtown Cleveland. There's a beautiful church here. But over here is the next facade for the Superman movie. They got a bus here for by some of the actors. But so they transformed this whole spot here. It says television and hi-fi stereos. This was all created for the movie. They built on this little extra here that wasn't there before. Color TV. Put all those advertisements. It says televisions, gas stoves, appliances, gaming equipment, security systems, wireless and sound equipment. Televisions and hi-fi stereos, appliances and refrigerators. They got a sign on there that says, do not enter. Crew only. And then here's one of the biggest things over here is this bookstore. It says Swan's Books. And the important thing is they give a nod back to Christopher Reeves and the first, very first Superman who had the last name Reeves. And they made the street name 712 North Reeves Avenue Bookstore. There's a sign there that says do not enter, crew only. Oh, there's two dogs right there that are barking at each other and uh, they're not liking each other's company. <laughs> okay, but here's, take a look on the, on the window pane there. The Daily Planet books are bestsellers and favorites available seven days a week. And then it says N. Reeves Avenue, 712 Bookstore. And then we'll get a little bit closer. They created these books inside here to make it look like a bookstore. But that's just a wall right behind there with a couple cases of books. Yeah, and then if you, it's kind of hard to tell, but there's like drywall and stuff beyond there. So all it is is just this one little wall they created with books to make this look like a bookstore. Books bought here, sold here, the Daily Planet bestsellers and favorites. Right here they have the Daily Planet headlines and highlights from the Metropolis Daily News. Uh, <laughs> over here they got the Metropolis Delaware and the skyscrapers and skylines. Very cool. But take a look at that facade, how they make it look like it's old, like it's been here a long time. When behind that plywood was uh, glass for what this place looks like, or looks like originally. I'll put a picture here on the screen of what this area looks like before they put up all this movie movie studio stuff and then over here is a they moved the, the extras and moved the producers there where he's telling them what, what how to act and what to do next okay I want to show you guys here in the windows of the televisions and hi-fi stereos how Hollywood movie magic works. Let's see if we can show inside here. There's some of the old electronics that they're using as props. And then in the background, they got all these TVs. And then over to the left, they got like blenders that are pretty old school. I mean, because they're setting this movie back a, a, a few years, but it's kind of neat to see how they do this and it's only that little section there because that's what might get seen when they're probably walking by or uh, filming here in front of this building so they want to make sure that it looks as, as authentic as possible.